Greetings and welcome back to Birthdays the Beginning. I'm Catherine of Skye and last time we discovered all kinds of new species of cows um, and they're all very delightful. We have elephants, we have mammoths, we have all kinds of things including the all-important wheat which hopefully our humans will start to eat. Um, it is growing in number. It's at 30,000 right now. We're looking at the triticum numbers um, and I think we need it around 400,000 um, oh, we got an M something um, so that we can get our modern humans into the world. But these guys are already producing very nice civilizations, um, I have to say. Very nice. Just kind of like randomly flying over and hoping, hoping to get some stuff. Right, so what is out here? Oh, it's like a green thing. All right, hi. Nice to meet you. How you doing? You're also eating apples. Okay, Mammothus trogontheri. Uh, Mammothus that migrated to cold, dry plains in search of food. Okay, cool. I like. Nice, nice, nice. He's a quick one, wasn't he? Goodness, he's a runner. All right, cool. Let's go back. Let's see what we're going to do. Um, right. Come on. There we are. Lots of things are in danger of dying, which kind of makes me sad, but... Try to come 268,000. Ooh. Ooh, a tigress. That sounds very nice. Okay. Let's go here and... Oh, is it there? Nope, not there. Where is this tiger? I know it's a tiger. Whoa, what is that stuff? Were oh, those snacks on a fire? How nice. That's very cool. They're cooking food. Oh, there he is. Magnificent. Oh, yes, the tiger. The, the tiger. Oh, he's a pretty one, isn't he? I like that grass that he's walking on. That 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 cool, cool stuff. Wowee. All right, we got a screenshot of him. All right, Panthera tigris. Yeah. <laughs> you betcha. Um, a tiger that differentiated from Smilodon and lives in the forest. It emerged as Homo erectus and Canis lupus were multiplying. Oh, pretty. I like tigers. They're nice. All right, let's check our um, thing. Our Okay, we need... Oh, wow. Okay. We need a 405 Triticum, current 310,000. We're almost there. We have enough hominids as well. 300, uh, well, no, we don't, well, no. 255 plus 74,000 is a lot. Um, maybe, all right, I can't do math at the moment. We will see, though, when our Triticum is sorted out. Oh, C. lupus alpus. Albus? Alpus? I forgot. Oh, duck. Hi, duck. But in any case, we got another wolf. Because wolves are lupus. Yeah, it makes sense that he'd be in a cold climate out here. Where is this lupus? Oopsies. Here? Are you hiding in the trees? Or are you right there? Oh, there he is. Behind the tree. All right. Canis lupus albus. Canis lupus that dwell in the tundra. Tundra wolves prey on moss borealis. Yeah, those mice, they are a great food supply, I have to say. All right. Um, right, let's go. Try to come at 470,000. Excellent. Now we just gotta see if humans can come out. Check on something in our, in our little world here. 
wondering if it's a little bit too cold. Do I need to bring up the temperature a little bit in the area? Wow, I got lost. Oh, wow, this is already on this shore? That's pretty darn cool. I feel like I should have, like, propagated this area with stuff a lot earlier. Maybe I would have been... Maybe people would have settled here faster. There's a whole bunch of wheat all over the place. Look at this. Wow. I'm going to take a picture. Oh, this is a cool picture, actually. <laughs> right here. Um, let's go zoom out a little bit. I just love the way that wheat looks. It's just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, oopsies. Let's go out a little bit. This is just a beautiful screenshot. You know, all of this Greek buildings by olive trees and all the wheat everywhere. It's just lovely. It's just cool to see all of this civilization happening and and stuff, though I am very well aware that, like, you know, humans have totally overpopulated the Earth by our time period, of course. And it's kind of scary. <laughs> scary in a lot of ways. Um, you know what? I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this, um, this area down a little bit and have this river kind of meander along here. There we go. That's lovely. Okay, anything else that we want to do with water here? Um, it's kind of nice to have a few areas of a little bit drier climate. Wow, we've got something over here. What is this? The hyena? Yeah, there's a hyena. And there's like a salamander guy over here. What is he? Uh, C. Figurogastes. Okay. This area appears to be a little bit more um, populated with stuff, right? I guess what we could do is lower some of this ocean floor again. Just take this and just basically bring it down. I feel like the ocean is, is kind of, I don't know if it's my doing that it's kind of overlooked where we don't have as many animals in here or plants in the ocean, or maybe it's just, you know, that happened at an earlier phase of the uh, development of the planet. All right, let's go ahead and go. Okay, some more stuff is dying. It's not great. Ooh, Megatheridian and modern humans. Yay, it's a modern human. Happy birthday. Sorry, I said it twice. I'm really glad I chose you. Phew, that's the last birthday. But our work isn't quite done yet. You've come a long way since I dragged you into this. And at long last, it's all led up to this moment. The birth of civilization. I know I repeat myself a lot, but that's really the main reason why I summoned you here civilization will be birthed when humans prosper. I don't have much more advice left to give you. Off the top of my head, flat land near the sea will help. There are other factors too. Humans will prosper most easily if there's lots of land. From there, you can do as you like. Nice. Alright. Um, yes, what do we need? Increase modern human population. Oh my god, 260,000. All right, let's go and collect these beasties that we have just birthed. Modern humans and something else we got as well. Oh, that's so cute. Let's see. Something over here. This way. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. Are you the modern human? Oh, humans. 
Humans, yes. All right. Primates that built cities in large green lands and practiced trade. The wheat fields cultivated by ancient humans had a large impact on their population. Yes, it did. Right. Aw, oh, she's like standing the mushrooms. Whoops, I forgot. I'm in the wrong view mode. <laughs> she looks like she has a little skirt of mushrooms on. Isn't that lovely? Oh, she's walking off now. Darn it, girl. You're supposed to turn around for a photograph, please. Oh, look at this. She is also camera shy. There we go. That's a good picture. All right. Those are not mushrooms. Those are something else. But um, anyway, let's turn this round so I can find our next species. Oh, hi. I haven't seen you before. You look very interesting. You are Megatherium, an enormous sloth. It looks more like a bear, um, but I but the Megatherium is a, is a sloth, actually. It emerged as Androsarchus and Mammothus were propagating. Wow, cool. I'm a big fan of sloths. They're very relaxed. Um, <laughs> and they're quite cute, but they do move terribly slowly, as their name does suggest. All right. Let's see what's going to happen. We've got some modern humans going on. Rafflesia is dying. No. Oh, Rainbow something or other. Oh, the temperature is going down. Why is that? It's like we're going to need to make more land or more. Um, shoot, where? Oh, there it is. It's a froggy, I think. Another frog. Rabo Gutatus. Racophorus schlegelii that migrated to forest rivers where cool winds blow. It mainly preys on Annex Parthenope. Okay. But I leveled again. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Um, is there anything else? I think, I think we're good. Wow. I wonder if this gal is going to build her own little settlement here. Oh, now we got a guy. Hey, there's two of them. Maybe they could build things together. That may be handy. Might be really handy. Oopsies. <laughs> they look confused. They're like, huh, do you know what to do here? Nope. Do you? Nope. I'm just going to take a picture of them both staring at the mountains. <laughs> don't know why they do that. I kind of wish they would they would look toward the camera and not into the mountains. But wow, we have such a beautiful, beautiful planet here. I'm quite impressed. I like it. I just love looking at this. And the graphics in this game are so darn cute. Oh my god, are they cute. Okay, so I am seeing that it's cooling down a little bit. Oh, CF Borealis. What is that? We've got two new species, I think. Huh? Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Taking a peek at the underneathies of the planet. Uh, right. Let's go up here. CF Borealis. What would that be? What would you be? Maybe here? Somewhere? Very likely. All right, is it you? Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. Canis familiaris borealis. It has adapted to survive in extremely cold climates. They tag along with humans and protect them. Oh, kind of cool. Kind of almost like a husky dog, um, I would guess. All right. <laughs> this is entertaining. This is really entertaining. She's like feeding it meat. It looked like she was... I know she's not, but <laughs> she looked like she was. Oh, that's too funny. Okay, so... um, Wait, is that other species not here? I could have sworn there were two. Maybe it died off immediately? Let's try it. Let's go back. Right, let's, um, yeah, oh, we already got the Rabo Gutatis. Um, I don't know why it said it was new. Because it clearly wasn't. Ooh, is that a Panthera? Another one. Oh my god. We 
has lots of cats. I can handle lots of cats. I can herd them. Very good at herding cats. All you have to do is herd them the right way. Oh, pretty. It's like a snow leopard. How pretty. Okay. Panthera uncia. Panthera tigris that lives in extremely cold lands. Snow leopards are anim on, on animals. Maybe prey on animals such as boss grunians. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, I want to take it. Ooh. Oh, how cool. I love this like wall decoration to indicate like permafrost or snow or something. That is so cool. Oops, let's go back a little bit. Get a better picture. Arr, it's like her. That's cute. Nice. I love the cuteness. This this game, the cuteness factor is unmatchable. It's very good. Um, right. Back to the universe. Howdy, howdy. Modern humans up to 7,000. 9,000. And 11,000. Oh, we got something new. What did we get? It's up this way. I'm just like interested. Oh my god, the giant sloths are over there. Oh, and it has a funny panda or a funny like a raccoon tail. I I'm that's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. Uh right. Oh hi! Oh, oh, a regular leopard. Nice. So you are Panthera pardus, a differentiated panthera tigris, the leopard, has adapted to a colder climate. Well, look at this. Tigers and leopards running about. So nice. It's like, okay. That's an interesting sound. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh my gosh, but I love like the dragonflies and I the, just the texture of the land is really quite cool. Whoops, I tried to show you with my cursor, but apparently it doesn't like doing that. Apologize for the uh, the random movement there. Okay, let's go back to the world. All right, Schnauzer. Really? <laughs> That's a funny kind of speci very specific kind of a dog. Uh, unless it's something else that I'm not thinking of properly. I mean, I would hardly have expected them to call for an Abyssinian or something like that. Um, right. Let's collect you. Schnauzer. Okay. Domesticated dog that adapt to steep, high elevation lands. Emerging after Canis familiaris borealis, they thrived among humans, though wild breeds still exist. Cute. Well, that's adorable. Nice. Okay. Fifty-eight thousand humans already. We just need two hundred ten thousand. Oh, some things are dying. No, the air temp is going down a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, we got us something new. Right. I'm really afraid to change the temperature much because I don't want what I have to be dying at all. Um, I love all this wheat over here. It looks so pretty. I just want to like look at this picture of the wheat and things and see stuff. Wow. It's so cool. All right. Um, what about my humans? What are they doing? My modern humans. These guys, oh, they're building houses. Check it out. Oh, they're building little tiny towns. They look really, really cute. Oh my god, they have adorable brick chimneys and everything. Oh, hi. They're like little gingerbread houses. They are adorable. Like, super, super cute. Beyond cute. And these, like, houses are by a river. Oh, and they have, like, little flowers in town and everything. Wow. Oh, the cuteness is severe and real. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is adorable. Very, very cute. All right, so we have another little town over here growing. And what about over here? 
There's a little house there. Mm, what about out here? We've got these kind of ancient places looking. Um, I'm surprised they haven't really colonized up here at all. Maybe it's because the plants didn't spread. I think I made a mistake by leaving this area sort of blank for so long. I think I felt very much like the temperature was very much a driving factor. So I didn't really edit that area, but it was a mistake, I think. If I were to play the game again, and I probably will. <gasps> panda. Hello. Hello, Panda. Ooh, I don't attract too much attention, do I? Haha, <laughs> that's an achievement. Yay! All right. This is a Melanoluca. All right, Ursus Thibet. Oh, goodness. Thibetanus gradually adapted to live in the forest on a diet of grass and trees, becoming the giant panda. It emerged as humans were propagating. It is cute. All right, let's take a picture of this uh, little guy. I really would like to. Hey. Okay. Hey. I really wish that red thing would not blink in the middle of my pictures. It drives me crazy. Um, let's see, what else can we take a picture of? All of these critters are very interesting to me. Like all these guys in the in the fields here. They look very funny just sitting out here in the in the wheat fields. Um, again, I'm really surprised that we're not getting any more plants. No more plants. But then maybe the game is like really animal focused because everybody thinks animals are cuter. <laughs> and they wouldn't be wrong. Animals are extremely cute. Um, it looks like, wow, temperature's going up to 19 degrees. But I feel like I need to make it even warmer. I, I think I want to make it warmer. I'm not sure what's up with this. Maybe it's just like the air changes, maybe, you know, sort of the greenhouse effect where we're having, you know, lots of animals breathing and stuff and no, but that wouldn't make it colder, would it? It would make it warmer. No, nope. Okay. Never mind. Scratch that. Scratch what I said. It's not, it's definitely not that. Um, <laughs> oh. sometimes the brain definitely doesn't work. Let's get some of this working. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, God. I wanted to bring it back to 20. Oh, jeez. Brain definitely doesn't work today. Gotcha. Yes, brain, you should have a holiday. You need a holiday. We should, we should take you out on holiday. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so we gotta make. Don't really want to change the water level on um, on the the continents with via the rivers and stuff like that. So I'm not sure what's with this. I don't know if this is intended, an intended effect or or not. I really don't know. Um, in any case, let's go back to the universe, and we'll uh, let this go. All right. Rafflesia is dying. I don't want Rafflesia to die. No. Hyenas are going down as well. Come on. Ooh. Something that starts with a Z. Maybe a zebra? Could it be? Or I wonder if we're gonna get horses. Oh, there's a castle. Oh my god. Aw, oh, how pretty. Look at this. It's like a castle with a rainbow. That's so cute. With the with little butterflies in front. Oh, the cuteness is real, guys. Man, this this is just adorable. I, I like the game for the gameplay, but man, for the castles and tiny houses, it's even better. Oh boy, oh boy. Look at this. There's like fruit stalls. This is like Mages of Mistralia. Oh my god. Oh, is that corn? Oh, they added corn. Oh my god, I love corn. I love, love, love corn. There's a guy who doesn't know what to do with the corn. He, look, harvest that and cook it and boil it and eat it with butter. That's what you do with corn. 
that is our favorite thing here. I'm going to just take a nice close-up shot of the corn in its natural environment, which is an interesting spot. But anyway, it's all good. Oh, we got corn. <laughs> and we're going to scan it right now. Yay! Zia maize. Like maize corn. Also known as corn. This planet plant planet this plant was discovered by early humans as their population increased and cultivated as a primary food source oh yes you bet you you better believe it we love corn here we um yeah we like corn look at this there's another little village here let me take a picture of this i love this is like this funny green um elephanty thing over there Oh, that's very sweet. She's like in this kind of garden. There, we got giant bears all over the place. These little villages. This looks nice. This is so cool. I, I absolutely love this. I am so enjoying this game. You have no idea. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this. There's the boss. The cow there. Hi. Can I zoom in on you? You look really cute. I like cute things. Anyway, um, I am probably just going geeking out way too much, guys, but I hope you'll forgive me because I am truly enjoying all of the cuteness here. It is, it's so adorable. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. Oh, and look at that. The temperature dropped again. It's still going only to 19 degrees. I feel like we definitely need to, to do something about this. Um, all right, let's get our thingy back and um, let's just take this down. Uh, maybe even take it down another degree. Oh, I ran out of HP. Wow, we okay. Where is it? The HP stuffs are over here. Let's uh, get that one, please. Right. There we go. There we go. There's our 21. Meanwhile, the ocean will be this weird stepped area. I really kind of am disappointed about the lack of plants and animals in the ocean. There doesn't seem to be a lot in here. There's like a duck, but that's pretty much it. Hmm. All right, let's uh, go back to the universe. All right, you know what? I'm gonna save the game just at this stage of, of um, building for our peoples. I don't know how Like, how advanced the humans get. I mean, do they get space technology? I have no idea. Ooh, Isoclotus. Where are you? Uh, where is this thing? Just kind of collecting all the dots so that I can see the thing better. Oh, there it is. Is that this? Don't know. Nope, it ain't that. There it is. Finally, I see it. Okay. Oh, oh it's an elephant. Another kind. All right. We will meet you. Oh, it's L. Cyclotus. Loxodonta that underwent mutation, allowing it to live in the forest. It feeds on the leaves of many broadleaf trees that grow in the forest. Cool. All right. Welcome to the planet. I'm happy that you're here. Look at that again. 21 down to 20 now. This this place keeps cooling down and I don't know why. I don't know if it's a it's probably just a natural thing. All right. Where are our humans? They're not really showing up on our our thing here at all. Let's check on them um, human-wise. Let's see. Is it this thing? 
We've got 229,000. So it looks like we're doing pretty good. Oh, there's a little prize over here. I'll take that prize. Thank you. Okay, yeah, and it's still going down, the temps. The temps are still going down. Though, this area here could use some water, uh, rivers. Let's, let's get this going. Because I think that would be a good thing. It would be an awesome thing. There we go. So this one's going to go this way. There we go. Nice, and it waterfalls all the way off the side, which is pretty cool. All right, and then this one, I think we'll just do like a sort of a small windy river over here. I feel like this area just doesn't have enough water in it and it's just suffering being like gray stone over there. Oh no, no, no. I missed the square. All right. It's okay. All right, there we go. So let's um, go back to the universe again, and we will press go. Ooh, Clupea, what is that? I don't know if it's just me or you guys see it instantly. There it goes, I see it now. But I don't see the thing when it flashes initially. So this Clupea. Oh, it's a fishy. Hello, fish. Ooh. Oh, okay, cool. Clupea, a saltwater fish that flourished in warm seawaters that Lepto Leptolepis could not adapt to. Okay, cool. Feels like the uh, um, mutations. Oh, no, not that. Not that. Sorry. Back, back, go back, go back. Thank you. Um, yeah, I feel like the adaptations are really slowing down, that we're not getting a lot of new species at the moment. I guess that makes sense since we're not really changing the air temperature that much. Oh, 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 oh. Lat is something, huh? Oh, there it is. Is it a flying thing? Oh, it is something. It is swimming or flying or something. Oh, there was something. Aha, I'm gonna capture you. Where are you, thing? I prefer to keep to myself achievement. Oh, Letimeria. Hello. Uh, Coelacanthus that lives in the cold waters of the deep sea. It mainly feeds on Clupea. Okay. Oh, there's something new. There is another something new, I think. Oh, another fish. See, here I go. Complain about the fish and then they all come about. Isn't that funny? Aha. Okay. Latiolabrax. All right. A saltwater fish that differentiated from Leptolepis and propagated throughout the shallows. Okay. Do we see anything else on the map? I don't think so. I think we're all okay. Right, so let's go. Oh, a little purple house. Eyes all pretty. Oh, dear God, they're so cute. Okay, and go. Latimeria. Okay. 
Okay. Come on, humans. Grow. Diversify. Have fun. Entertain yourselves. With lots of... Oh, Himalo something, huh? Aha! We have... Wait. Let's do this. That's... Is that the right way? I think it is. I think it is. I think we're in the sea. Hey, sea. How's it going? Ooh, a very deep sea. How interesting. You are... Oh, cool. Hamantolufus, a fish that lives in the extreme cold of the sea. It uses bioluminescence to lure prey. It emerged as Latin Maria were spawning. I believe that's called a trigger fish. Very, very nice. Can I zoom in on this thing? Where is it? And indeed, they do live at the bottom of the sea. And they have this light that they use to catch their prey. Um, where it's very dark. There's like no light down there and critters are drawn to the light. Darn it, I don't see it. Shoot, I kind of wanted to take a picture of it. Alright, well, that's okay. We'll be fine. Okay. Do, 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 do. Ooh, Boss Rex, the king of critters, apparently. Let's zoom out a little bit. Um, let's go this way. Oh, okay. There he is. It's a cow. Tis a cowie. Hello, cowie. A boss Taurus that grew to enormous size when it ate almost all the timothy grass. It emerged as boss Grinians were propagating. Nice. We have something else down here. Um, okay. What is this? Was that an alligator? Ooh, crocodilus. The crocodile lives near cool, calm shores and eats anything that gets too close. <laughs> I love that way of talking about it. That is so funny. So what have we got in terms of humans? Got 236,000. Do I need like more? Hmm. All right, let's get this. Just kind of like, maybe they want more spaces. No. <gasps> no, I didn't want to do that. Nope, 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 nope. Um, I feel like they might want more space or something. Um, let's see, why don't they make towns out here? There's plenty of space out here. Lots of flat space. There's a ton of flat space out here and over here. Like, look at all this flatness right here with olive trees, no less. Very shortly, soon to be eaten. You can eat olives. Olives are good. Love olives. Um, right. Let's uh, go back to the universe. Uh, there we go. Oh no! The Longifolia died. That's sad. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. You can propagate more. Alright. I'm gonna make some more flatland. Okay, guys. Um, right. I could make this island flatter. Maybe I'll do that. I'll focus on that for now. We'll just call it terraforming for the humans. Though I have to say that a lot of this kind of reminds me of like the Italian coastline. So why would I ever want to um, mess with this? It's really pretty. Let's move this upward. 
a little bit. Okay, that's made a little bit flatter. Um, just, I don't want to change the landscape. I like it. I like it the way it is. If only I could figure out how to get more wheat around here. Hmm. See, they're quite happy living here. All right, let's go back to the universe and see. Unless it's too warm for them. Oopsies. There we go. I'm actually quite happy for them to, to spread to those other areas. I wonder if they will or not. It may take a while. Hmm. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can have more birthdays. More tiny people springing out, populating the world. Get going. Ooh, we've got a new person. A new thing. A new animal. There it is. It's a sea creature, no less. Nice. Or it might be. Uh, where are you, thing? Oh, 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 that's our luminescent fish. Hello. You look really cute. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, turn the other way, because you look really cute from the other direction. <laughs> okay, is that what we're catching here? Oh, it is! Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, H. Albinaris. Okay, Himantophus, him, uh, Himantolophus, that migrated closer to the water's surface and adapted though prey is more abundant, its bioluminescence is less effective now. Yeah, that happens. Wow, level 22. That's impressive. Alright, hopefully we'll get more stuff. Let's go to the universe again. Nope, no! Okay. Press the wrong button. Sorry. Okay, look at all those lights springing up. That's very cool. I am glad that I created that cold mountain so that all of the critters that love the cold can be um, uh, living there. I think it's kind of cool. Come on, peeps. You can migrate. You can do things. I want you to do stuff. Because soon the earth is going to die off. <laughs> Six six million years. Um, come on. I don't want you to, to, to die or do things that are not... That area down there is very gray as well. I wonder if I should put some more... Um... Though there's stuff happening, there's all kinds of stuff. Rafflesi is on the edge of extinction. No. Ichthyostega. No. Not great. Where is our wheat? Flessia things. Hmm. Not much is happening. All right. Well, we are. Let's just see what we need to do. They still won't move from that number. That's really strange to me. Um, hmm. Let's see. Wow. Um, cube status, objects, well, yeah, it just says increase their population. All right, I think we might need some more terraforming. And since we're kind of way over time, I think we should stop right here. Thank you so very much for joining me. Hopefully we can increase uh, our human population and get civilization to get going um, very shortly within the next episode. So thank you again for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.